What are we looking for? Dogs. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bird. You know, we back on Bird's Eye View with it. Like always, appreciate the love and support. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Stop what you're doing. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Hop in the comment section. Comment whatever you want. Of course, I'm dropping daily bangers day by day. You know we got news of the day coming out of Colorado. And we're going to jump right into it. We got Javon McFadden. He's a four-star interior offensive lineman. 6'5", 315. Out of Washington, D.C., currently playing his football at Riverdale Baptist High School. That's in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. He's in that 2025 class. This is a top 10 interior offensive lineman in the country. He's the number five overall prospect in the state of Maryland, a top 240 national player. Just a well put together offensive lineman who's a block finisher in the run game, consistently drives defenders 10 to 20 yards down the field on tape. Good feet and base combined with natural strength and length allows him to be good and pass pro has active hands plays mostly left tackle on tape but seen transitioning to be a guard at the next level with continued development he'll be a really good player in college now this is the cousin of jordan seaton they actually played together at saint john's high school in dc before seat transferred to img They've had some back and forth on Twitter. We offered this young man on March 15th, so about 10 days ago. Of course, he, he quoted it with the shushing emoji and hashtag Skull Buffs. Then Javon, he followed that up. He quoted that and said teammates twin with the question mark emoji. And then the following day after that, Javon tweeted out pictures of him and Seat together when they were at St. John's High School and put the Buffaloes emoji and said Skull Buffs. So we'll see exactly what a transpired there, but we already got some family ties in Boulder, Colorado. You know how I family ties roll we got three sets of brothers already in boulder right now so don't be surprised if we're able to land this young man here again jordan c his cousin and of course i would love to see these two young men team back up together and be on that same offensive line of course that'll be jordan c in sophomore year it'd be a true freshman year for this young man if it were to transpire that way we're gonna see exactly what happens there but i mean i love the way he finishes blocks on tape and it'll be fun to see these two teams back up in boulder colorado we'll see what happens man let's keep this train rolling we got nick brooks he's a four-star offensive tackle 6'7, 345 out of cedar rapids iowa he's also in that 2025 class as well this is the number one overall player in the state of iowa he's a top 15 offensive tackle in the country a top 135 national player just a massive offensive tackle with a towering frame and athletic ability to match great length that's on display throughout his tape strong finisher in the run game at his size he still displays the ability to block at the second level versatile can play either left tackle or right tackle nasty plays with a mean streak i know he competed in track as well through the shot put and the discus plans to visit colorado april 27th for the spring game he was previously committed to iowa he committed to the hawkeyes september 8th and then about two months later he decommitted on november 7th and reopened his high school recruitment again he plans to visit boulder april 27th which is the day of the spring game of course it's going to be a phenomenal atmosphere in boulder that day i wish i could be there dog but of course that's the same day as the nfl draft that's, that'll be day three of the nfl draft and that's where they're projecting my brother to go day three is anywhere between rounds four and seven and right now he's falling you know around that range so more than likely he'll be a day three guy could possibly sneak in as a day two guy but it's looking like a day three guy right now so I won't be able to make Boulder for that because, of course, we're going to have a draft party. And I got to be there for my little brother, man. I, I rather enjoy that, but I wish I could make it. But this young man will be in, on campus, right? He will be in Boulder for that spring game along with a whole list of high-level athletes. So let's see if we can put on a show for this young man, man. Last but certainly not least, dog, we got Michael Du Bois. He's a four-star offensive tackle. He's 6'5", 315 out of Mobile, Alabama. He's in that 2025 class as well. This is a top 10 offensive tackle in the country. He's the number six overall player coming out of the state of Alabama. He's a top 70 national player, a very nice size offensive tackle with the versatility to play tackle or guard at the next level. Plays with good feet, the knee bend, displays a forceful initial punch, a drive blocker that finishes in the run game. His size and strength make him a dominant force at the high school level. This is another dual sport athlete as well. Of course, we all know we love the dual sport athletes, even when it comes down to the guys in the trench play. He competes in basketball and he also competes in track as well. He tidied up shot put throws of 32 7.5 and 31 6.5 as a high school freshman. He is set to visit Boulder 
on April 15th. So we're about, what, three weeks away for this young man being on campus. We all know Coach Lode Holt, who is our offensive line coach now for this Colorado football program, is going to do a great job at developing these young men. You know, this is a pro guy, an ex-pro guy that, that played with the Minnesota Vikings, who's done some phenomenal things already at this level with the University of Oklahoma. And now he's going to do great things at Colorado. So not going to keep you long. Just wanted to bring you guys another phenomenal update. We'll see if we can land all three of these guys. You know me. As long as we can land one, I'm good to go, man. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Birds eye view, man.